So, um, today I'm going to be making, um, a video, and it has to do with a really heavy topic. Well, I guess not heavy, but heavy for some. Um, excuse me if I don't have the proper words, I guess. Uh, I don't tell a lot of people this story, not everyone knows this about me. Um... Two years ago, wait, about a year and a half, two years ago, I had a really bad drinking problem. I would be drunk from, um, let's say I'd start drinking at like five. I would get shittered all night and then pass out for a bit, wake up, and about an hour after I was awake, be drinking again already. Sometimes I was drunk by like 2 in the afternoon. Um, I came to the realization that I had a problem when I went to a friend of mine's, a girl that I was friends with um, from a town before I moved away when I was young. Um, we got in touch again. I spent the night at her house. We got so blackout drunk that I passed out. Um, well, not passed out. I blacked out. I don't remember what happened. I just know that I woke up, and I was in a different change of clothes, and I later found out that I puked all over her garage. That is when I realized I had a problem. Um, I guess I did uh, self-help. I never went through any treatment programs, didn't tell anyone, didn't really let people know that I had this problem. I guess I just kind of decided... I'm not going to be dependent on this anymore. I don't want this to be my life. Um, it's very hard to do. There's tons of times when I would just relapse. I'd just sit there and drink. And drink. And then I would just hate myself for it. Because I was like, what am I doing? Like, what the fuck am I doing to myself? Um, another way that I guess I stopped drinking would have been I picked up self-harming again um, I mean I've always struggled with self-harm if you watch my other videos you would know that I actually just recently made a video um, talking about my self-harm and my story with it and stuff like that so I'm not gonna get too much into that but that is a way that I coped with not drinking anymore because for me drinking um, I replaced self-harming for a little bit with drinking and um, I would just drink so that I couldn't feel anything. I drink so that I was so numb and so drunk and stupid that I wouldn't feel what I was feeling. I wouldn't feel the pain I was feeling. I didn't have to deal with my problems when I was drunk. Um. Sorry, it's hard to talk about. Um. I don't know. I, I can't really tell anyone, I guess. Because I don't even know myself why I started, why I chose to do that. I guess I just did. I started dabbling into alcohol when I would have been, I want to say, about 12. No. Yeah, I would have been about 12 when I started dabbling into drugs, alcohol. Um, and uh, it just progressed from there, I guess. I just had a problem with it. I would just sit there with friends and I would just get drunk and I would just drink and drink and drink and drink until I couldn't fucking remember where the fuck I was. Until I would wake up in these random ass places like what the fuck happened last night. And um, yeah. I, I self-helped. I will never go back to being that person. I turned into a terrible person when I was drinking. Um, I was rude to people. I didn't own up to anything that I did wrong. I would lie to people. I would, I don't know, I would just be so rude and I would put down other people just because I felt like shit. And it's something that I regret. So, um, when I was going through that period of my life, if I was ever rude to you, 
Well, if I was ever rude to you at any time at all, I'm sorry. But if I was ever rude to you specifically when I was going through that rough patch, I apologize. That's that's not who I am today. That's not the person I am. It's not the person I wish to be. But, um, yeah. So, um, I'm not that person anymore. I've fully recovered from my drinking problem. I don't have an addiction to alcohol anymore. And I'm very proud of myself for stopping that. So, yeah. Um, thank you guys for watching.